So this is the iX Tech dynamic microphone. Now I want to test this out against one of the best or supposedly the best dynamic microphones out there, the Shure SM7B, because this microphone is $52 currently on Amazon. There's a big discount on it at the moment and on iX Tech's website, usually about $90, but still a lot cheaper than this microphone. This is usually about 400, 300 to 400, depending on where you buy it from. I've recorded this video about five times now, and every time I listen to the two microphones, I cannot tell the difference. So let me see if you can tell the difference. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these microphones. This is the iX Tech from the start of this video. You've been listening to the iX Tech plugged in via XLR to the Rodecaster over there. It's got really good preamps in there. So that obviously helps the microphone a little bit, but this is the iX Tech. And then I'm gonna switch over to the Shure SM7B. So this is the Shure SM7B. This is the microphone I'm using now to record this audio. I've switched it over. I've simply muted the iX Tech video. You can't hear the iX Tech and you can hear the Shure SM7B. So $400 compared to 52. I'm struggling to understand why I've forked out that much money for this microphone when this microphone was on the market and I just simply didn't know about it. So now you do know about it. This is the iX Tech dynamic microphone. Okay, let's switch back to the iX Tech. Okay, so iX Tech. There's a few things about this microphone that I just want to tell you. It's a Pro, it says pro level equipment and I can attest to that. I mean, you can attest to that because you're listening to it right now. It's got XLR and USB-C, so you can use this for any kind of setup you want to do, streaming, podcasting, it would be absolutely fantastic. Perfect for gaming as well. When you're connected by USB-C, you've got these one touch controls on the top where you can uh, change the volume, you can mute it as well, and you've also got an audio input there so you can actually listen to your own, you can like, monitor your audio, which is a great, great uh, feature for m you know most professional use. Um, it's got a high signal noise ratio, which is 96 kilohertz, 24 bit. So it's not 32 bit float that you'd expect from some of the wireless microphones you can buy on the market at the moment, but it's a 24 bit signal, which is, absolutely perfect and you know from what i'm hearing in my ears it sounds great um crystal clear sound for podcast streaming voiceovers it comes with a 3 8 inch and a 5 8 inch mount so no matter what sort of microphone arm you're using then it fits on both of these which is which is great it comes in the box with a USB-C cable and an xlr cable in the box so you haven't got to buy any extra accessories everything is in this box to get you started which is fantastic and it is a dynamic microphone. There are other accessories available separately for this. So you can buy pop filters, which sort of fit onto here, which are like a bigger pop filter. But you know, from what I'm hearing in my ears, I'm telling you now, this is perfectly, perfectly fine. I had a little bit of a pop there. So maybe a pop filter might be a good idea. Okay. I actually fitted the bigger pop filter, switch over to the Shure SM7B. I actually fitted the bigger pop filter that comes with, in the box with the Shure SM7B for $400, you'd expect it. Comes with the bigger one like this and the smaller the one that you see for most people because I sort of pronounce my P's and B's a little bit when I'm talking. Maybe um, that you might need a bigger pop filter on the XLR. And as far as noise, when you're moving it around with the SM7B, it's something it's renowned for. You can't really hear any noise apart from when you knock it on the side of the Rodecaster maybe. If I switch back over to the iX Tech and test that. So this is the iX Tech. And you can see there's a bit of movement noise yeah, when I'm moving it about. So that for me is the only difference between this $400 microphone and this $52 stroke $90 microphone is the handling noise and that is the only thing i can tell you that is different the build quality is probably a little bit better on the shure sm7b something you'd probably expect but sound wise i'm, I'm not an audiophile by any means but i am really really struggling to hear the difference between these two microphones one more time this is the ix tech microphone testing one two three testing one two three and this is the shure sm7b Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three.
Now, what I will say, if you are hearing any difference in this microphone, is when you plug it into the Rode Rodecaster, which is the sort of streaming setup we've got over here, the Rodecaster actually has a preset in there that actually boosts the signal up on the Shure S77B to make it sound the best. There's a preset built in on there. With the iX Tech, I've just simply plugged it in and that's it. I haven't pressed any audio settings. I haven't changed any sparkle or anything like that on the settings of the iX Tech microphone. So it is just hearing it as is. You could play around with the settings and get it sounding a little bit crispier, a little bit louder, a little bit clearer, depending on you, how you want it to sound. So if you've got something like the Rodecaster Duo over here, like I have, you can play around with the settings and make it sound even better. So that is the iX Tech dynamic microphone i'd be very very interested to hear your thoughts in the comments down below what you think about these two microphones and if this 52 dollars microphone sounds just as good as this really expensive one i'd be very very interested to hear so let me know in the comments down below why you're down there i appreciate if you subscribe press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads lots of lots of really interesting videos coming up over the next few weeks we've got some sick products on the way so stay tuned but that's it for this one if you want to grab one of these there'll be a link in the description down below that will be an affiliate link but this is not a sponsored video they did send it to me for free to test but apart from that there's no input in this video they don't get to see it before it's released or anything like that this is my honest opinion I've been blown away with it. It's a fantastic microphone if you're just starting out and a fantastic value.